Okay, what do you think of the oh, solo? Oh, it tickles your brain. All right, we're checking out Black Sabbath today. Never knowingly heard anything by them, but probably have heard something by them. Wait, is this the Black Sabbath with Ozzy Osbourne? Yes. That, oh, Falling in Reverse. Yes, we got this recommendation from Discord, and it said Ozzy Osbourne is in this band, so it has crazy okay. vocals and whatnot. I don't know. Checking out the song, War Pigs. Let's get into it. At black masses, evil minds that plot destruction, sorcerer of death's construction. In the fields of bodies burning, as the war machine keeps turning, death and hatred. Okay, I wonder when the song was. Uh... When this was made. Right? You know what I mean? Because I'm sure it's about um, a specific war. You know what I mean? Let me check real quick. Okay, yeah, let's check. Because I want to know, like, the full context. We just looked it up. The song was released in 1970. So that's, like, Vietnam War time frame, right? I guess after, slightly after the Vietnam War. 60s. Something like that, right? Okay, I just wanted that context. I wanted to know what I'm talking about. Because the Vietnam War was not very popular, right? Keeps turning Death and hatred to mankind Poisoning their brainwashed minds Oh, Lord, yeah. these electric guitar like <laughs> rips and yeah stuff. i really like the sound of this one yeah oh it's so satisfying and the subject matter right i was gonna say some of the politicians hide themselves away when other people go and fight and the politicians start start all the wars i mean they really do and the thing about war is like i never really know why we're in a particular war or skirmish or whatever the things are called modern day that we do i don't know what they're called conflicts I don't know, but I never really know why we're in them. Because the reason you get on the news is never the real reason. Mm -mm. You know what I mean? So it's like, it, it's confusing. Yeah, I mean, it's. I think it's so sad that people are still, like, he's talking about being brainwashed. He's talking about the just the politicians. And, like, did you see, like, I mean, I don't know if this video is related to this or how that how that works, but it's, like, the perfect video to go along with it, I feel like. Because it's, it's talking about stuff that, even though it was the 70s, like it was 1970 when this song came out, it's still relevant today. Right. Right now, in 2021. 50 years.
Okay, I'm trying oh, to hold I, back. I was trying not to stop the solo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to hold back because I totally would be rocking out to this. I wanted to pause it, but yeah. I didn't because I was trying to let you have your guitar solo. I know oh, you love man. the solos. I wanted to ask you, like, okay, what do you think of the oh, solo? Oh, it tickles your brain. <laughs> oh, man, when they get to like... It's just like tickles your brain, you know what I mean? Right. Ugh. This is so cool. Okay, so I used to watch that Ozzy Osbourne, Sharon Osbourne reality show. You know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. I, like, I don't know what it was called. I think something like Living with the Osbournes or something like that. I've never watched it, but I know what you're talking about. Yeah, but I mean, his whole reputation that I knew of was like drug addicted, crazy rock Eats and bats roller. bats or bites the head off bats. Eats That's bats. literally like one of the only things I know about him. Yeah, it was all negative. It was all negative. It was just like he's off the chain, out of his mind, you know, drugged out. And so I I listened and watched that show with that in mind, and then I never intentionally listened to any of his music. I never have either. I probably heard some in passing. Right. I don't know. But, yeah, never have, like, looked up Black Sabbath. I didn't even know what Black Sabbath was. No, me either. <laughs> Not until I Falling in Reverse video. Yeah, when they mentioned it in the comments, they told us it was yeah. a band. So, yeah. Oh. Yeah, but my favorite roller coaster as a kid used to be the rock and roller coaster at I think it's Universal Studios. But literally, they play music like this. But it's like I'd never made the connection that like maybe I like rock. <laughs> One of your favorite restaurants was Hard Rock Cafe. Yeah, <laughs> never crossed my mind though. Like it was always like, I don't know. I feel like rock music has such a reputation for being like super drugged out and super crazy. Mm. You know, but. It's cool. I like it. Darkness world stops turning Ashes where the body's burning No more war pigs have the power And as God has struck the hour Day of judgment God is calling Underneath War pigs crawling, begging mercies for the sins. Satan laughing spreads his wings. Oh, Lord, yeah.
ending. Right at the end of that, I felt like we were going to go on a trip. Yeah. It was like ramping us up. Right. And I was already like in a sort of like, from the, just the music at the end, I was like. Oh. I have a lot of questions about okay. this video. Is this the official video for the song or is this like a fan created video? Right. I mean, usually videos don't have like huge watermarks at the bottom right. I, right. I couldn't read what that said, but maybe it was related. I don't know. But in the video, there's a, like a lot of red. What did the red symbolize? I thought red was supposed to be associated with communism. Mm. So I'm just a little confused. Maybe it's just they have red clothes. I don't know. So I'm a little confused at the message. But I don't know if this is the official video or not. Ooh, that was that was like... I, okay, so when I heard the name Black Sabbath, I instantly just thought kind of like gothic and dark and like depressing. But like I didn't think like energetic music you know right like to be honest that was my first it's like i don't know i guess i got mental stereotypes and like you know what i mean because i mean i freaking love rock music like if you guys have been watching these recent rock and metal videos we've been doing i'll be like so into it <laughs> so i mean it's weird to it's weird to think that i thought i knew something i didn't know and then yeah. right and this topic is an interesting one mm -hmm. to me because like I said, I'm not an expert in geopolitics whatsoever. But I always find the wars and stuff interesting. Mm -hmm. Like the reason that the media gives you, then you watch like an independent journalist or something and they give you a whole different reason. Like, oh, this is over a pipeline, like, you know, the Cutter Turkey pipeline and this, this and then like, holy crap, what is really going on? And right. It's hard to know like for sure what, to know. what it's really about. It's hard to know. And then it's like they just run you in circles. You know, go to this news station, go to this politician. Well, this politician on the other side of the, you know, and it's like there seems that a lot of them are in bed together. Like it seems right. that there is just a, an elite class or something of people that know a lot. And, and a lot of the wars serve them. Yeah, a lot of the wars serve them and they're all in bed together and like all the major companies. And it seems just like it's all kind of tied up at some level that's like bigger than we know. I think most people are not a fan of like endless foreign wars, mm -hmm. you know what I mean, that kind of thing. But if, if you don't support endless foreign wars, then you get accused of being anti-military, like you hate the military or something. Oh, really? Yes. But I feel like military doesn't even like foreign wars. I, I don't know. Like I feel like you can be ready to serve your country and to love your country and not want to have to be actively in the battlefield all the time. Some people love you know it. What I mean? But I mean, it's one thing when you're like defending and protecting, but it's another thing when, I mean, people, you know what I'm saying? It's just like sometimes it just seems kind of frivolous, kind of like, you know, we're risking people's lives for what? Right. I mean, I have a friend in the military. He loves it. He loves getting deployed. Like, loves it. You know who I'm talking about. Went to high school together. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. He was at the class reunion. Like, he loves it. Loves mm -hmm. telling all his stories and stuff about being here and there and what he had to do and this and got into this, almost got this. We were like, wow. he absolutely loves it. I guess that's one of those things that like, you can love what you do and you can also not always agree with the politics of it. Right. But it seems, okay, so I like the title in this song too because I feel like modern day they love to call police officers pigs. They love to do that, you know? Right. And I like how they took it to the higher level, politi you know, politicians who create these foreign wars. Like, they took it to the people who actually have control over these things. Right. They didn't, like, blame average people. They're not blaming soldiers. Yeah, I feel like this song would unite people more so, you know? And I feel like, the, like, like you said, they're not blaming soldiers. They're not blaming the like people on the ground, you know, they have, it's like they've got orders, they're just doing their job, and you know what I mean? I feel like they, they took it to the next level, which is nice. Modern day, I don't hear like hardly any music about the top tier, right? you know? It's yeah. just like- A little Tom McDonald, I feel like. True, true. Sure, I'm you know, not, he at least yeah. talks about the media, like yeah. to pit us against each yeah. other, all that kind of stuff. But I agree, not a lot of music at all. At all. You know, and I mean, I can understand not wanting to sing about that stuff all the time, but it's like I hear a lot about police. Right. And it's like, I don't know. I wish like this. I, I don't know. I like the vibes. It's very 70s, you know, how I imagine the 70s, like post 60s hippie stuff and like moving towards the 80s of like more like rock and stuff like that. I feel like this is right in the middle. 
So I feel like I don't know enough about the 70s to really know what this song is about. I, I know the Vietnam War wasn't that popular. Don't know enough about it. But we did go to Vietnam and we went um, to the Coochie Tunnels. Yeah. I don't know what I'm saying that right, but we went like in the Vietnam War tunnels and saw like the booby traps and stuff. It was crazy. It was crazy. It was crazy. I can't believe like people were having a, like that was no. reality being on the ground in Vietnam fighting that war with oh, no. all that booby traps and tunnels, all that yeah. weird kind of and guerrilla then warfare Orange stuff and all right. That, like I cannot imagine conflict. having been over there. Yeah, they even like when we went to the tour, there was like a lot of propaganda oh, yeah. from their angle. You, know, you so go to the tour, the first thing they do is they sit you down, and they play a video for you, like explaining the Vietnam War from their angle. Which, yeah. From the Vietnamese perspective, it was it was odd. It was very <laughs> it was, strange. It was, it was weird. Was, but I mean, it's like I don't know. I guess it's like you know, in in life in general, I try to like step back and just like absorb as much as I can to like understand where people are coming from. But being American, it was very strange because it just the undertone, like they were so nice and all this stuff, but the undertone was definitely like kind of like I don't even know. It was just definitely kind of savage. like tense, yeah, you know. It was very savage. Yeah, it was definitely like, I mean, I don't know, I don't know, savage tense. So I have on this one. I like the song though. Yeah. yeah, it had really good sound to me. It did. Oh, I got and to I get like, a rock and roller coaster. I like that it was calling out the politicians and stuff like that. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. People need to call out politicians more and not, oh, it's just like frustrating to like when it's like everyday people, you know what I mean? It's like we, even like the education system clearly has problems, but we're not blaming teachers. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I don't know, that kind of bothers me. But nonetheless, thank you for watching this video. Comment below any other suggestions for Black Sabbath you have. This is our first time watching it, so um, we are first time listening to them. So we're completely green in this, and we don't know how to navigate their music. Um, we love you guys. We appreciate you for sticking around to the end of this video. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already for more. And until next time, that's a wrap. I don't know. Tell me, man, what do you know? What do you know? Me and my boys on the road. Where to go? She told me, boy, you to go. Like I don't know, but I don't know.